Hello students, today we will learn about stepwise thinking. Children, we all have to do various tasks in our day-to-day -day life. To accomplish any task, we require two things, reasoning and problem-solving skills. Reasoning refers to the act of thinking about something in a logical manner. Whereas finding solution to any task requires step-by-step -step procedure known as problem solving. Suppose you have to organize a party. To do so, you have to follow the given steps. Make a list of invites. Inform invitees through phone call or email. Make proper seating and eating arrangements for them. Make arrangements for their entertainment. Greet the guests with love and warmth. Start and enjoy the party. Every step written above holds its place and importance. If we don't follow the sequence or skip any step, the result party in our case may not be satisfactory. For example, if we do not start the above activity with making of a list of invitees, rather start with the second step that is calling, chances are that we might forget to call a few of the guests. We would not be having an exact idea of the number of guests. As a result, the seating, eating and entertainment arrangements would be affected and the party would end into a mess. Therefore, if we plan our work systematically beforehand, we can accomplish it successfully. Moreover, stepwise thinking helps in converting complicated tasks into simple ones. So, Reasoning, planning and stepwise thinking before doing any work is very important. Students let us consider some cases and check how they can be solved stepwise. Case 1. Your little sister does not know how to brush her teeth. Help her by giving stepwise instructions. Pick toothbrush from the holder. Turn on the tap of wash basin. Rinse brush and turn off the tap. Apply toothpaste on the brush. Start brushing your teeth. Clean the brush and rinse your mouth. Pick tongue cleaner and rinse it. Clean your tongue. Rinse your mouth again. Finally, you get the desired result that is fresh and germ-free mouth. Case 2. Write down the steps required to pack your school bag for the next day. Open the bag. Take out your school diary. See the timetable. Go to the bookshelf. Take out the books and notebooks. Keep them in a bag. Close the bag. Case 3. Write down the steps for making a chapati by taking the help of your mother. Open the container of wheat flour. Take out the required quantity of the flour and sieve it in a bowl. Mix water in it and knead it well to make a dough. Make small balls of the dough and roll them into chapatis. Heat the griddle. Place the chapatis on it one by one and cook them on both sides. Serve them hot. Case 4. 
Write the recipe of banana milk shake by taking the help of your mother. Pick one banana from the fruit basket. Peel it off and cut it into small pieces. Put these pieces in the blender. Add one glass of milk and one teaspoon of sugar in the blender. Switch on the blender and blend the mixture well. Pour the milkshake in a serving glass. Top it up with some chopped dry fruits. Case 5 Your father has asked you to help his driver's son in starting a computer. How will you do it? Switch on the main power supply button. Switch on the UPS button. Switch on the power supply button of the CPU. Switch on the monitor button and wait for some time. Case 6. Your science teacher has asked you to prepare a presentation of 10 slides on the topic, the human body. What steps will you follow? Collect the relevant matter for the given topic by going through various books present in your library or browsing the internet. Open PowerPoint to make a presentation. Make use of the collected material and create 10 different slides. Choose the relevant slide layouts for each slide. Format the slides properly. Save the presentation.